Well, hey folks, we're back again. Uh, today we're going to be cooking uh, meatloaf. Um, I'm going to call this spicy meatloaf because uh, I'm going to use uh, a pound and a half of uh, ground sirloin and I've got uh, one pound of uh, hot Italian sausage. Uh, we're going to be combining that in, in the bowl here and in that we're going to have uh, just shy of two cups of plain breadcrumbs and uh, two beaten eggs. See that here? I've got a cup of onions. Uh, we're going to put uh, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and a tablespoon of minced garlic and another tablespoon of black pepper. And we're also going to put some Mrs. Dash in there. So we're going to combine that all together. We're going to make ourselves a loaf and we're going to put it in the fridge, let it cool down a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to cook this today on our ceramic grill. Now today I'm going to use something different for smoke. I bought these. Uh, they're little smoking cubes and they're made by a company called Mojo Bricks and these are called the uh, Barba Cubes. Now this flavor, I got two flavors, I got cherry, I got a whole bunch of them and this is their award-winning competition blend with pecan essence. I'm not really sure what pecan essence is but I'm sure it's something to do with smoke. Uh, but these little cubes, uh, I'm going to put that in, one cube in and apparently that's enough for 30 to 45 minutes. So. We'll give that a shot and see how that does. We're going to be, like I said, we're going to be cooking this uh, on the Ceramic Visions Grill and uh, we'll use uh, lump charcoal with uh, mesquite in there. Uh, so we'll get these all combined and I'll show you what it looks like once the loaf is made. Once again, thanks for watching. Well, hey folks, uh, well, there it is. Uh, combined everything together and mixed it up real good with my hands and uh, just put it all together, put it in this pan here. Uh, I kind of want to cook it on the grill grate, on the grills, just like this, without you know, taking it out of the pan and putting it on the grill. But we'll, we'll see how it holds together. Uh, if not, I'll, I'm prepared to cook it in this. And what I'll do is I'll take, some, I'll take a fork here and I'll poke a bunch of holes in the bottom of that pan so I, I don't want to cook it in the grease. So we're going to cook this to about 160 degrees. I'll use the eye grill too to monitor the temperature. When I get up to about 100 degrees, I'll probably put uh, some barbecue sauce on it. And I'm going to be using this. Uh, Stuff made by, I don't know if it's made by Budweiser, but it says it Budweiser Classic Sauce. If you get a chance to try this stuff, it's, uh, it's actually pretty good. There's little chunks of onions in there. I've had this on ribs before, and it's excellent. So, uh, once again, hope you enjoy this, and uh, we'll put this on the grill and let you take a look once it's on the grill. Well, hey, folks, we're back. Uh, just put the meatloaf on. Uh, uh, just a couple minutes ago, once again, like I said, I've got mesquite in the uh, Vision Ceramic here, and uh, I've got one of the uh, Barb uh, Cubes, which is kind of like a compressed sawdust. This stuff is supposed to be the competition blend with a pecan essence. So, give you a quick look. Uh, like I said, we just put it on, and uh, you now we got plenty of smoke coming, and uh, it smells pretty good. And uh, like I said, we, were, we got the meatloaf on there, we've got one probe from the eye grill on there and uh, we'll, uh, like I said, we don't cook this to about 160 internal and uh, I honestly don't know how long it's going to take and I, I'm thinking two hours but we'll see. Uh, we'll show you the results as we go along. Thanks. Well hey folks, you can see uh, we've got the uh, eye grill too here. We've been on for a little over an hour here, almost an hour and 15 minutes and uh, we're approaching 100 degrees here so I'm going to put the barbecue sauce on and give you a look at that point and then uh, We'll take it all the way to uh, to 160 and uh, see how it turns out. Well, folks, I was going to show you what it looked like once I had the uh, barbecue sauce on, but I uh, opened it up and took a look at it and said, "Oh my gosh, I got to show you what it looks like now." Because it's uh, without the barbecue sauce on it, it's looking pretty good. So let's take a quick look. I want you to see what it looks like. Like I said, this is about an hour and 15 minutes in, and uh, as you can see, it's it's looking really nice. So, I'm going to put the barbecue sauce on and then uh, give you a look see when we're getting close to being done. Thanks for watching. Well, hey folks, we're back. Uh, you can see the temperature on the eye grill too is 154. We're real close to being done here, so let's just uh, take a look. Put some light on here. There we go. So, uh, there's our meatloaf. Uh, well, looking pretty good. And uh, next time you see it, we'll uh, bring it up and slice it up and give you a look. So, once again, thanks for watching. Well, hey folks, well, there it is. 
there's the meatloaf. Uh, got a nice smoke ring around there, and everything turned out great. Uh, all in all, it took two hours to do. Um, temperature on the uh, visions, it did get a little bit high. I'll be, uh, I wasn't monitoring it that well. I had the vents open. It did get up to about 350. So, you know, I, if I would have kept my eye on it, it probably would have been a little, a little bit longer. But got some good smoke in there, and the uh, barbecue sauce turned out great. And, and I tell you what, it's damn good meatloaf. So hope you like and give this a shot. And uh, I'm sure whatever you do will turn out great for you. Thanks.